hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to see how to install the tensorflow light on raspbian os bullseye 64 bit version so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our video please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i told you we are going to install a tensorflow light on our raspbian os bullseye which is the 64 bit version okay so for that i have used here a raspberry pi 4 camera module which is the 5 megapixel camera board as you can see and this is available on the amazon 420 is the price if you want to buy just visit the amazon and just get the raspberry pi 5 megapixel camera board okay which i have used for this project then uh, we need to install the opencv 4.5.5 I have already created a video how to install the OpenCV 4.5.5 on Raspbian OS Pulsar 64-bit version. That's it. Also, I have already made the video how to configure the camera module with the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay. So, watch the video and first connect the camera module with the Raspberry Pi 4. Then on Raspbian OS Pulsar, first you need to run the update command and update command. So, sudo apt update just hit enter it will update the repository then sudo apt upgrade just hit enter it will upgrade the packages with latest okay that's it so i have already done with update and upgrade then we need to go here remember one thing after upgrading the packages just reboot once your raspberry pi 4 okay then we need to visit the sudo raspi hyphen config command we need to run the raspi hyphen config command because we need to enable our camera module the legacy camera module that's it so sudo raspi hyphen config just hit enter then we need to move inside the third one option which is the interface option simply hit enter over here and then as you can see the i1 is the legacy camera enable simply hit enter on the legacy camera then uh, would you like to enable the legacy camera support of course we need uh, here the legacy camera support simply come to the yes hit enter and I have already enabled the camera module okay so I'm not going to reboot here so just enable the legacy camera module and just reboot your Raspberry Pi 4 once that's it we have all that done with basic setup we have so we have here OpenCV already installed we have already configured our camera module with the Raspberry Pi 4 of course you can use here USB camera module also that's it so I have already installed the latest uh, uh, OpenCV and I have already configured the camera module. That's it. So we are ready and uh, we are going to install the TensorFlow Lite. So simply what we want to do, uh, we want to visit the repository. I will mention the link inside my description box. You need to simply click on and open the link. Then as you can see TensorFlow Lite on Bullseye. That's it. Click on code, copy the link, minimize the browser and simply we are going to run the command sudo git clone and paste the link here and just hit enter it will clone our folder inside the raspberry pi that's it if i run the ls command as you can see this is what our tensorflow light will say simply cd tensorflow light will say clear the screen just a minute clear ls and we have here our installation script simply first we need to give the full permission so sudo chamod775 and our script name which is tensorflow-light.sh that's it so we have we have here uh, our script ready now what we want to do we want to simply run the script so sudo dot slash and tensorflow-light.sh and simply hit enter it will basically download the package okay as you can see so friends as you can see the our script is completed now if i run the ls command and as you can see we have here now examples folder inside the tensorflow light bullseye which is our clone folder so i am going to make clear here and i am going to show you again if i run the pwd command this is what our folder which we have clone and inside that folder now we have the examples folder so we need to go inside the examples folder so i am going to first go inside the examples so cd examples hit enter i am going to clear the screen and if i run the ls command over here here it is we have the light folder so we need to go inside the light folder so cd light okay hit enter then ls then here we need to go again the examples folder so cd examples 
hit enter ls and here we want to go inside the object detection folder as you can see this is what the object detection simply cd object detection hit enter i am going to clear the screen if i run the ls command as you can see here it is what the raspberry pi folder we need to go inside the raspberry pi so cd and the raspberry pi hit enter clear the screen ls and we need to run the setup.sh script but first we need to make some changes so for that we are going to edit here requirements.txt file so simply run the command like this way sudo nano requirement text hit enter and we are going to change the opencv version because we have here opencv latest version so we need to change here okay so i am going to make 4.5.5 which is our version latest version which we have already installed so control x y enter and save so remember one thing before we run the setup.sh we need to first make the changes inside the requirements.txt file so we are ready now simply run the command sudo bash setup.sh hit enter now it will install the tensorflow light on our raspberry os full stack so friends as you can see we have successfully installed the tensorflow light now we are ready i am going to make here a clear screen so now if i run the ls command and as you can see here it is what the detect.py file which we are going to run here okay so what we are going to do i am going to open this detect.py file with the help of our thony editor so but first what we want to do here one more thing friends we want to change the owner of the folders so for that now i am just come out from the tensorflow light uh, folder which we which we have just cloned and now i am inside the slash home slash pi if i run the ls command as you can see here it is what our folder so what we are going to do we are going to run the command like this way because we need to change the owner permission uh, because we want to run the file on our thony editor so sudo ch own hyphen capital r pi and pi okay and then we need to mention our folder name tensorflow light bullseye simply hit enter now we have successfully changed our owner for the tensorflow hyphen light bullseye now we can minimize the terminal go to the menu programming thony python ide and from here we are going to open our detect.py file so tensorflow light bullseye folder examples then again light examples and here we need to go inside the object detection then the raspberry pi then detect.py this is what our script which we are going to run okay so inside the detect.py this is what our code so now what i am going to do i have here a video inside my mobile i am going to play that video and tensorflow light model will be detect the object okay so friends i have started the video from mobile now i am going to run the code click on play button and our script will be run okay so this is what our frame but there is a problem as you can see basically the frame is upside down so we need to flip the frame okay so we are going to flip the frame i am going to stop the code and we need to just scroll down here and we need to search here a cv2.flip as you can see cv2.flip the 72 number line and here we need to make some changes cv2 sorry not cv2 uh, we are going to mention like uh, this way flip capital c code is equal to minus one that's it so on 72 number line cv2.flip image flip code is equal to minus one this changes is basically flip our frame okay so remember one thing if you configure the usb camera then there is no need to uh, flip the frame but if you configure the raspberry pi 4 camera then you need to flip the frame okay because otherwise the frame will be upside down okay now we have make a changes as you can see flip capital c code is equal to minus one simply save the code and now i am going to run our script and this time as you can see the frame is right way okay and as you can see our tensorflow light is working perfectly there is a person there is a car okay as you can see it's detected how fast is detected on raspberry pi 4 bullseye 64 bit version because this is what the tensorflow light 
it's working perfectly as you can see the car is also here the person so this is the way friends you can configure the tensorflow light on raspberry os bullseye 64 bit version i hope you learned something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye